So once again here, Emma Raducanu with a really good first serve. Coming into the court, one, two steps back. Here's where she's finding her balance and realizes that the ball's coming a little shorter, able to step up right here. And this is really the ball that she's using to set up the finishing touches on this point here. Even shorter ball, and that's not a big problem to put that one away then. So again, that is the ideal scenario. That's what we want. However, it's not always happening that way. Now that, of course, is the ideal scenario that you as the server here or in the video, Emma Raducanu, hits a big first serve that creates a shorter response. So the ball in the video, we saw that Emma can step up. She's taking the next ball inside the baseline and then really angle balls off. And then the next reply is even shorter and that gives her a short ball in this area. That's what you want. And you can achieve that with a couple of variations on the serves. So for instance, if you use the pattern serve plus one, and that's usually what we mean when we have a wide serve pulling the server out of the court, and it is really, really difficult to really hurt the server if the serve is good. The other option that you have is you could serve right into the body of the returner. You jam them. Also not going to be able as the returner to really hit a powerful shot back or a forcing ball, anything that's deeper than this area. So that could also give you a short ball. And then of course we have the option to just go down the tee and you have the other options on the ad side, of course, as well. So those are the options for the big plays. That is what we want. And that's what we see a lot in world-class tennis. However, my videos are not necessarily geared towards world-class players. They are geared towards the people that I teach. And I teach mostly between 3-0 and 4-5. My name is Micah Babel. I'm a former top 30 WTA pro. If you do like my content, go ahead and subscribe. Recommend my channel to your tennis friends. Click that little bell on the top because that lets you know when I'm putting new content out. And now I'm showing you what options you have to play defense off your serve because that is really what I'm seeing a whole lot more than the first move that Emma Raducanu showed us. So even though she's not getting the result that she wants with the serve, meaning a short ball that she can really attack, this to my mind is still a very aggressive play. What I mean by that is we see that the ball is fairly deep and it's coming incredibly fast at her. So we're seeing the ball right here entering the frame and it has just gotten off the ground. So at this point, you see Emma is already prepared at the top of her take back here as the ball's coming up to her. She never got up into a full upright position. So that's a really aggressive good balance position here. And by not backing up, also because she doesn't have time, what she's doing is she sends the ball back incredibly fast. So in this instance, by counter punching this ball really, really well, she's establishing herself in a pretty good position here. She's not all the way back. We'll see that in a later example. And she's able to then jump onto the third shorter ball. So again, she's approaching the ball here at an angle and she's looking to step in and take over the point the second she has the opportunity. And even though she was not in the best position right here, that's still a very aggressive mindset. The next option you have when somebody hits a good return is to not give up ground and actually continue to hug the baseline. And that is what Emma is doing in this situation. She's just sitting incredibly low and counter punching that ball right away. And what she does with that is fastball comes to her. She's sending it back incredibly fast. And that actually then gives her a shorter ball that she can expose by stepping in. But the key is really that you can only hit those counter punches if you're sitting really low and you're really well balanced. Your body weight still moves forward and you're working on shortening up your take back and you're blocking the ball. Because if you're falling back with that ball, 
that ball is going to go over the fence. Another option to play defense is probably a little bit more of a passive ball right here with that slice. But what she does with that is she gives herself time to move back and adjust to the next ball. So that is where she's still fully unbalanced and has the opportunity to move forward again. Now this is the ball that gives her a little bit of trouble that probably lands short and we'll see by her reaction that her opponent is going through the court with that ball there and probably ending up winning the point. But what you want to accomplish with your slice here as the ball off the return is you slow the ball down, you change the spin, and you give yourself time to get into a much better ready position than being stuck here at the baseline. So don't dismiss the slice as something that is not worth learning. I would use it first as a defense, but then once you've mastered it, it can absolutely become a offensive weapon for you to learn how to structure the point and really throw your opponents off rhythm. Now in the next scenario, Emma Raducanu actually immediately gets under pressure with the return. So she's serving and we're seeing that the ball is actually not necessarily as deep, but it is lower. So she's choosing to hit a slice of that ball. And what I like about that variety is that in rec tennis, a slice is a fantastic weapon to slow the game down, to give your opponent a different type of spin. And because the ball is lower, it is difficult to get under with more extreme grips. Now, the factor, the time factor that Emma is introducing with that slice return enables her to back up a little bit and take up a better defensive position. Because to my mind, you don't always want to insist on being right on top of the baseline. It's just not possible. So with that slice, she's given herself time to back up and get into a better defensive position. Now, it does look like she's ending up losing the point, but that is not the point. The point is that you have another option in your repertoire. And from what we're seeing in that clip is really that her opponent is doing a good job not letting up the pressure by hitting the next balls deep and heavy. So you can learn from both sides, from Emma moving back, using the slice to give herself time. And then of course, from the other player that you should not let up with the pressure that you build up with a great first return.